Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of the City Council. My partner and I have been hired by the Chamber of Commerce to present to you a professional volleyball league we call the Grants Pass Dolphins. We have decided that a competitive volleyball league would help bring prestige and increase the economy to the wonderful city of Grants Pass. My name is Lindsay Roy. And I'm Julie King. And we are the founders of the Grants Pass Dolphins. A volleyball team will bring more popularity to Grants Pass. The extra tourism and traffic will bring more revenue to our community by increasing hotel lodging and the sales in restaurants. The sales of merchandise will also improve our local economy. Having a professional volleyball team will bring forth more revenue for existing businesses as well as encourage entrepreneurs to invest in our community. The Grants Pass Dolphins will originate in Oregon and play all around the Northwest, including California and Washington. Our teams will be for boys and girls and the age range will go from 6 to 18. In a competitive league like our own, different age groups compete in different divisions. Each division has a certain name corresponding with the age of the division. For example, a team of girls aged 12 to 14 would be in the girls 14U division. 14U stands for 14 and under. The Grants Pass Dolphins will have an 8U, 10U, 12U, 14U, 16U, and 18U teams, each with separate teams for boys and girls. We intend our team's home court to be at the Downtown Shopping Center located on Southwest G Street. This lot was originally purchased by a local coffee franchise called Dutch Bros Coffee. We plan to buy the lot off of Dutch Bros and renovate it into a state-of-the-art volleyball gym. That would mean that we'd be playing indoors, and since we are only playing on the West Coast, we will mainly be traveling by bus and occasionally plane. That would require us to buy a bus specifically for our team's use. And these won't be the only expenses we have planned. Our team wouldn't be complete without merchandise for our team and fans. We plan for our team to have their own duffel bags, jerseys, and volleyballs that all have our team logo and will be personalized with jersey numbers and names, as well as our slogan, no one can dominate like the Dolphins. As for our supporters, they have t-shirts, water bottles, keychains, and lastly sweaters. All money made from the merchandise will go back to the team. To help pay off all the purchases we have made, we will also be selling concessions at all the home games and take part in a few fundraising events. At the fundraising events, we can sell the merchandise with our team logo and slogan on it. Through all the fundraising events, merchandise, and sponsors, we will be making about $1 million by the end of 2022, not including taxes and loans we have to pay off. So by January 2022, we will have made a profit of about $600,000. That money will be invested into a few things. First of all, it would be invested back into the team to improve jerseys, volleyballs, and all the team's needs. We would also put some money into the traveling portion so that we could expand the amount of teams we play and bring players to compete all over the United States. Lastly, the money would go into paying staff and coaches and bring more people to help expand the size of the Grants Pass Dolphins. You're probably wondering what the logo looks like. It consists of a dolphin balancing a ball in its nose inside a circle that's our team name on it. We chose a dolphin because they can actually be trained to play volleyball and it also matches with our color theme. Our color theme is gray, which is the color of our dolphin, as well as pastel yellow and navy blue. We wanted to make sure the colors contrasted well with each other and didn't clash. We have chosen black to the leather so that it fits our color theme. Our logo will make our team recognized by many. We created our logo on an app called Adobe Photoshop. Adobe Photoshop is an app typically used by graphic designers to create logos and advertisements. Graphic design is a process of communication through the use of visual composition. The field is considered a subset of visual communication and communication design. We used graphic design to create our logo, and here's how. First, we had to brainstorm what elements we wanted to include in our final project. Secondly, we sketched a few designs and decided which one suits our team best. Third, we used Adobe Photoshop to make our ideas come to life. Although it sounds easy, we have had many failed attempts and bad design ideas but we still managed to create a logo that we think fits our team perfect. In conclusion, the Grants Pass Dolphins would be an amazing investment for our city because about 46 million people alone in the United States play volleyball. That would guarantee tons of players, which brings tons of fans, and will be the perfect addition to our wonderful city. Thank you for your time. Any questions?